Okay, sometimes when you're talking about probability, you're actually talking about the complement of an event. So, what's the probability of getting a 2? Well, the complement of that is, what's the probability of getting not a 2? So, let's take a look at some examples. And here we have the probability of getting a 2 on a number cube would be 1 out of 6. But what's the probability of getting not a 2? Well, there are five numbers out of six total that are not a two. So our total would be, if we added these two together, six out of six, or one. So any time you're talking about the complement of an event, it's two events whose probability add up to one. So in our next case, we have a circle labeled A, B, C, and D, and we're going to assume that these are all equal spaces, even though they aren't drawn that way. What's the probability of getting an A? One-fourth. What's the probability of getting not an A? Three-fourths. So if you add those two together, you'll get four-fourths, or one. So those two events are complements. Now, let's talk about how you can express each of our probabilities. You could write it as a fraction, that's normally how we do it. You could express it as a decimal, that just means change the fraction to a decimal. Or if you want to, write it as a percent. All three are good ways to exp express probability.